What's up? I'm the one B, and we're doing some more video editing. Uh, we're gonna create a new project here. We're gonna hit browse. We are going to make a new folder. The new folder will be called uh, video editing. Um, what is this? Content confusion video thumbnail creation. Select the folder. Select the folder. And then we will have video editing, content, confusion, video, thumbnail, creation. This is me editing. So basically today what we're doing, or right now what we're doing, I always do today, right now, whatever. What we're doing right now is we're video editing a video where I'm video editing a thumbnail creation. Got it? Videos. This will be for 20, 21, 58, 57. So 420. 420. 58, 21, 58, 57. Very good. We're going to go ahead and grab this one. We're going to drag it down into here. We are importing into project. We're going to click on video editing over here. And we're going to go to the one B, which has my YouTube end screen. Bring that in. Now we're going to import the video into the timeline. My nose nostril itches. Sorry about that. My nose nostril. Yep, that thing. Let's unlink so that we can get into the audio here. Again, I've explained this. Um, First track is a mix of all three of these tracks. It's just for syncing anything up if I need to. That needs to go. This is system audio. This is Discord audio. This is my audio. We will relink all of these back up. We will delete the extra tracks on the timeline that we do not need. Let's go ahead. This is delete video tracks, all empty tracks, delete audio tracks, all empty tracks. Boom, gone. Then, while we're here, we're gonna go in here into these effects controls. The first track here, like I said, is system audio. You don't need to hear that too much. So I'm gonna turn that down. And then with my audio, we're gonna turn that up because it's better that you have to turn me down than not be able to hear me at all. So that's the rule on that. And then we will look into trimming the beginning of this. Um, actually, let's go ahead first before we do any trimming. Drag in the YouTube end screen. The only reason I'm doing this right now, let's go ahead and do the same audio thing to it to make sure that it's turned up, is because I've been using this delete ripple hotkey, which allows me to delete, trim the beginning of this, and then it just pulls everything with it to the front. And then that way I can show you how to do it. Or tell you how to do it. And show, same thing. What's up, and everybody? we want to Go about right here and i'm gonna hit Control k which is going to split both of these this clip right so now there's two things here we have this one selected we're going to hold shift and we're going to hit delete and it pulls everything forward so now you have everything pulled forward this i don't have to go back and there is a little gap here that's an audio gap just from when i end the the video here it kills some of the audio but anyway we got to trim the end of this off Hopefully I did that in the last videos. I may have forgot. Oh, well. That's the thing is what I'm kind of learning is that my my errors are purely that. They're errors and they're, my, they're me. So I'm not, you know, I make a mistake and I learn from it and I move on. That's why we're doing this over and over. Okay, so hit control K. Let's control Z will undo that. Control shift Z redoes it. But for this case, we're just going to hit control K so that you understand that that splits the clip. You're going to select the part that we do not want. We're going to hold shift. We're going to hit delete and it's going to delete it and it's going to pull this forward. So everything is right where it needs to be. We are going to hit control S to save, which I would have normally done right here, but then we're just going to go straight to export. We're going to hit go to media. I should just learn the, the hotkey for that, but I'm learning the ripple hotkey right now. So then we're going to go in here and we are going to look for content confusion, thumbnail creation. 
and we're going to rename it. We're going to rename it video editing content confusion video thumbnail creation. And we're going to save. We are going to queue it, which brings up Adobe Media Encoder. <coughs> And so once I hit this green button, it's going to start the encoding and rendering process. And that's going to take anywhere from five to 20 minutes. And you're not going to need to see that process. Basically, I, it just runs and then the video is done. So um, I'm going to go do something else while I wait for that to render. And uh, hopefully you go and watch one of my other videos. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, please click the circle in the middle to subscribe. The rectangle on your left is another video. The rectangle on your right is a playlist of other videos that you may enjoy. Thanks again. Peace.